Hey guys, what's up? It's Volk, your one and only. How are my adventurers doing? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So, uh, the combat system has, well, the first stage of the combat system has been completed. Uh, this button right here is going to be where we launch the combat system. I do want to show off a few other things before we actually do begin on that. So, we changed the character sprites. The character sprites no longer just, you know, look like a flat image from the side and just look like another face in the other side. Well, this face that's currently being shown right here. You guys probably saw it there for a second. I had to get my mouse on there. But yeah, it no longer looks like this on the back and front. We changed it to where it actually looks like a 3D model. So basically how my model is moving is how it should look when I go to the side of it. But I changed that. I wanted them to change that instead of it just being like that. I changed it to be more. So I'm going to change it to be more camera focused. So if I go to the side like this. It now changes his direction based on the camera. So. Yeah, looks a lot better, right? So the NPCs have changed quite a bit. Now here is the button right here. Uh, I haven't changed gotten to change like any of the key bindings right now interact is space and you can go between all of the current monster girls i do have to resize uh elf but at the same time she's supposed to be small but at the same time she's not supposed to be that small so right now you can select between these three Hold on. Okay, yeah. But yeah, right now you can select between those three. So we're going to choose Dark Elf. Now we're going to choose uh, Slime Warrior because Slime Warrior needs some... Uh, needs some adjusting on her stats. <laughs> That's for sure. So in combat, you will not be seeing like any of the point zeros uh, that isn't supposed to show up <laughs> in the stats. It also, it's supposed to show up in combat, so we got rid of it in combat. Uh, he missed a percentage here. I got to get him. Oh, well, no, that's fine because the percentage is over here instead. So, yeah, we push this. There's two moves currently. I don't have any detailings for the moves up, so that's also something I need to add to the next order. Move details. When hovering the move. and combat okay so it should show uh, like how strong the ability is like it's multipliers like things like that or like what type of ability it is and as you guys can see at the top it tells you how much damage you did and when you beat them the battle automatically ends or if you're defeated the battle automatically ends So right now, you can't really see the stats of the monster girl. But we also do have the rest function, too, to restore mana. If we start using way too much mana. But as of right now, everybody's mana is... regainable. And there is something else I have to fix later on, too. Enemy died. Um, that move doesn't really use too much mana. I try to give them at least one move that doesn't use a lot of mana to where you can regain mana. And there's a move that will, you know, take a lot more mana. I can just skip turn and let them rest. That is all working. Um, party is not working. Well, these three are not in the works right now. 
as at the right now, the next thing is going to probably be status effects and stuff like that. Then after status effects, we'll do party. Then it'll more than likely be items later on down the road. So everything right now is focused on combat. Then we'll start getting into like the party system a lot more than after the party system items. Few items, not nothing like over the top at the moment. I can also retreat if I if I want to. Yeah, she looks fine in the image image here. And then we're gonna have to do XP after the battles as well and figure out a good way to figure out how much XP we would actually give. At the moment, there are currently three stages of combat, which would be the XP and rewards afterwards. Then after we get done with everything that's related to combat, it will probably more than likely be dungeon based. Getting the dungeons working and all together. Right now, the turn counter isn't working. Oh, no. Yes, it is. Ah, huh, that wasn't working at first. I think he just recently fixed that. So anytime a turn has been taken, the turn counter goes up. I could just go ahead and remove that then. <laughs> but um, there's another thing that is that I have to get him to fix, which is spamming. Yeah, that. I, I want players to be locked out from just spamming the keys because you don't know what kind of issues that can actually cause. So that's something we got to actually take care of. Now, I also got him to do the same thing for the monsters girls, well, the enemy monster girls as well, to where if they run out of mana, they also have to rest and skip turns. So that way it's fair. And they're just not like a huge mana pool. Or if I have, you know, a mana draining ability, that could also be a thing too. That mana draining ability can, you know, somewhat help players out in certain like instances to where you have characters like Elf Girl, well, Dark Elf Novice, who has like, who's supposed to have the highest mana pool out of all, out of the three starters. And then I guess there could be a fourth, depending on how much the third part of the combat system will start, which will be evolution. We got to figure out how we're going to do that and how we're going to implement that. But as of right now, we're just focused on status effects more than likely. So as status effects go on, um, I have a huge list on Trollo. You know what? I'll give you guys the same goal I gave you last time. If you guys get this video to 20 likes, just because I know I know it's not going to happen, and I can keep more things a secret, <laughs> but get it to 20 likes, and I will... I'll share the Trello and talk a little bit more about the plans I have and the ideas I have I'm not going to show you guys or tell you guys every single thing. I'll show you guys everything, but I won't tell you about everything. I'll get you guys a little bit more interested with the plans I do have for the game and talk about a little bit of the ideas I have. And I can show you guys the Monster Girls I currently have thoughts and designs in my head because there's a lot of designs and Monster Girls I have in my head. And maybe I'll tell you guys about a future game that I do want to make after Monster Girl Utopia that's related to Monster Girl Utopia, but in a different way later on down the road. If you guys actually make it to 20 
20 likes. But um, with that said, that's uh, all we have right now. So the next stage is to um, get the music in also. Yeah, I forgot about that combat music. So number four. Oh, I can just write that in the timer. Combat music. And make music loopable. <laughs> so it keep it should still keep playing like that song. So yeah, the um, development's going on pretty well. A lot better than, you know, a lot of the other tries that I've done inside of Unity and inside of um, Godot. Like, as you guys go through, like, all those other devlogs I've done, the evolution of this has actually been turned out really well. But the only thing that's an issue right now is money. Money is the only issue. I've been thinking about trying to find a job that pays more, but at the same time, those jobs probably won't take me because everything is, hey, you have to have experience, but you know, you can't get the experience without being hired for that job. It's like, yeah, we want you to have like 10 years of experience on like a forklift. It's just like, okay. How the fuck do I get experience on a forklift if I don't own a forklift or any other forklift job will take me? <laughs> it's, not, it's like, it's, it's very, very difficult to like find higher paying jobs right now that don't, that will actually put in the time to train you and won't like, be like, no, nah, you have to have years of experience before you can get this job type of shit. It, it's it's hard out here, man. But sooner or later, maybe I'll make some more money to speed up development. But as of right now, we're going at my my salary pace at this point. So pretty much every week, our budget. I want to keep it at three hundred <laughs> for my budget. But sometimes it does go a little bit over to where I have to skip one of my sellers. Because I'm skipping a lot of my sellers. I, I had a map creator, but I can't hire her on right now because we got to focus on the actual like development and combat and getting Monster Girls, you know, all done and caught up so we can make more Monster Girls that would actually fit the starting dungeons and stuff like that. Um, you guys did see that I hired... Um, my musician for the for new songs but um that was when i had enough time well enough money to actually go into that because the development of the second well the first stage of the combat took a lot longer so i was just like okay this week i can actually use money on this that that's kind of how that's going And it's working out pretty fine, but I also got to keep my budget in check just in case, you know, I do a little bit of an oopsie and go a little bit too far into that. And it's just like, oh, I have no money to pay bills. <laughs> so I got to keep that under control. I can't go like too crazy. So there'll be some weeks where I have to completely skip everyone if I go too far into the budget of the development side. So the developer's going to have to wait. And I don't know if these guys will ever be, you know, always on Fiverr. So it could be a situation to where they just straight up out of nowhere, just completely give up on their gig and quit, which would suck because then I would have to find somebody. Let's say, let's say if my sprite artist like disappeared, I would have to find a new sprite artist that can keep the same energy as my current sprite creator. And I don't know if, I could find another person like that. So it sucks right now because I would love to keep getting sprites made. 
and I would love to keep using the second artist I have, but budget. My budget has drastically decreased at the moment, and I have to wait wait a little bit longer before I can actually like start doing that again once we like get most of the important development stuff done. But I kind of want to keep that going. Like every every order I finish, I want to try and get the next thing ready for him to do immediately afterwards. It's sort of where I'm aiming at. So development is probably going to take most of that budget. So you guys will see progress in the development, but probably not a lot of progress in the other areas. So it varies from there. <laughs> With that said, uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now we'll see you guys next time for the second part, second stage of the combat. And I'll let you guys know if there's another stage of the combat. But as for the second stage, it's pretty much getting a whole bunch of debuffs, buffs, and probably just a little bit of fixes and other things added. Maybe a few more things I'm thinking of. But at the moment, it's mostly just fleshing out the rest of the moves right now. And maybe, who knows? No, there's probably going to be more than more than three stages because I had to think about it. I'm forgetting about animation for attacks and testing out animations for um, the sprites themselves because I did have like an animated version of Slime Warrior that I wanted to test with. So I got to get him to test that as well. So, yeah, things to do. It takes a long time. Anywho, peace out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then. Peace out. Oh, wait. There's there's one more thing I wanted to talk about. Um, how to make another character. So he made it pretty easy for me to be able to add another character. I could just put in their name. Just push add. Then I could just type in their name. Their level I want them to be. Their origin. Their rank. And then I could put in their stats inside of here. I could put in their images. Then their resist as well. Their resist stats to whatever move that's going on. Then I could put in their role, which is basically, basically like, hold on, I think Tiger has one. Yeah, it basically tells you a little bit about them and what they're mostly made for. And their typical moves, and along with a little bit of more detail about them. I think detail is supposed to be uh, passive, if I remember correctly. But you can see everything on here. So you can also see the new Monster Girl that I added on that list. Oh, this was the... Uh, description of the passive that's what it was that's what i had it as description of the um, passive so that's genuinely it this is something i had planned for tigura just to see where we go so the temporary shield sounds interesting just to help her survive. But yeah, that that's just a few things. Just a few things. So I hope you guys um find it interesting because I can also make a lot of moves here too. Uh we haven't added in any animation or anything like that, but there's gonna be a lot of like stat changes when it comes to like the moves and the monster girls themselves 
and it will all depend on the passives too so i'm not trying to fully rebalance them at the moment until until i get the passives done once i get the passives done then that's basically where we're gonna be uh I said, I figured that wasn't looping there. But uh, once we get the passes done, then I would be doing a lot of rebalancing and stuff like that, getting that ready and going. But uh, yeah, that that's all I wanted to share. I totally forgot about that. I said, peace out. <laughs>